Okay, every single thing I just said has not been recorded because apparently uh, when I pressed record, it didn't record. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's day two of my attempts to learn to juggle, and the thing is, I have uh, managed to kind of get the down pat, for the most part, the idea of getting the right apex on the arc that this the single ball has to go through. It's slow, it's tedious work, but you get there in the end. And you get the idea of just how much of a, a force that you have to put behind the ball to throw to get it to go up and down. The, the advantage of these is that this is a ball full of like uh, beans, essentially. It's like a, a bean bag. So it doesn't bounce. And it's also able to hang in the air a little bit as it spins in its arc, which is great because it means that when you put the second ball in, you've got timing. I'm getting the idea. Once it gets to the top of its arc and starts to come down, that's when you throw the second ball. And then hopefully you can catch them. I haven't quite got the catching. I will get it. The idea of this is to improve my coordination. So it's no, ma no wonder that I'm having trouble because my coordination over the years has got quite damaged. I have no idea where that ball went. It's in here somewhere. I have no idea where it is though. But that's the idea. I've got a third one. So I'm almost getting it, but not quite because they're not coming down into my hands. So, practice makes perfect. <laughs> I will get it eventually though. Anyway, today's uh, work is mostly in this office. First of all, I've got to uh, read the proof of that's been sent to me for Antics issue two. Now, being able to hold a retro magazine in my hands, like a magazine about the Amstrad here in the 21st century has been it's a feeling that I didn't expect to be quite so important. It's like, it connects me with the thing I've loved from uh, the 80s in a in a strange way that I hadn't realised I'd missed that much, so it's great. But we've had the, the test, the proof PDF sent through from the editor. Now the idea is that all of us go through, make sure that everything's spelled right and, and uh, offer any uh ideas of tweaks that might be made to make it better the magazine looks wonderful by the way even better than issue one it's great however there's always suggestions that we can make so we then send those over to the publisher chris and he'll take in anything that he agrees with and leave out anything he doesn't which is exactly what uh, his right is as publisher and uh, he'll make it look amazing and then it goes out to the subscribers and it'll go to print so we're very close to issue two now. It looks great so far. And I'm looking forward to being able to hold it in my hands and then talk to you about it. But that's the main thing I've got to do right now. And then I've got to tweak Game Hammer and write and tweak more of Board Game Hammer. Then I get to make some videos. So I'm off to do that after I've found out where that juggling ball <laughs> went. And I will see you later on today. Let's do it. If you like the show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really does help create future videos. That's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. And I've got an extra special thanks going out to Chief89, Sam Yates, Retro Mickey82, Mo Henry, and George Botterini. Thank you so much, guys. It's not the throwing itself that's the thing. It's the coordination of it in the right position.